Hi and welcome to the next tutorial. Today we're going to look at how to create this simple twist planter. Now it's not that hard to make and I'll show you exactly how to do it. So the first thing we need to do is we need to have a look at our measurements and we need to have an understanding of how big we want this thing to be. So once you've got all that sorted and you have an idea in mind, I'll show you how to make this. So we'll start off with a new design. The first thing that we need to do is we need to go to create and we need to create a coil. Now we're going to be working in the top plane and basically we're going to draw this coil out 100 mils. Now there are a few things that we need to change here. Firstly, the height is going to be 100 mils. The revolutions will lower it down a bit, we'll make it 0.5. Um, the section we will change to triangular external and the screen position we will put on the inside so this will give us the starting point for the rest of our planter we also want to change the section size to something a bit smaller about five mil now we'll come back in here and we'll you know um, change and modify some of these settings to give us the right looks that we want so once you're happy with that press ok the next thing you need to do is you need to um, create a sketch and basically we want a polygon and we're going to work in the top plane as well and what we're going to do is we're going to draw this polygon out so that it fits the exact same size of our coil so I'm going to do it 50 mils <clears throat> once you're done with that that's all we have to do there the next thing is we are going to create a new sketch So we are going to create a new sketch and this time we are going to work in the front plane. So now I'm just going to draw a line up, okay, till it gets to about there. It doesn't matter how high this line is, just as long as it's over this point. And then what we need to do is we will need to um, get the height from this point of the coil and make sure that line is exactly at that point now there are a few ways to do this you can pretty much just draw a line there and then grab this line down and then when you're done you can delete the rest of that line or you can use the project tool now you can press P on your keyboard, you can select this point over here for our project, then press OK. Now inside of your sketch palette, and if you don't have the sketch palette you might have to reset your view by going to uh, uh, reset default layout. But there is this tool over here, horizontal and vertical. If you click on this, right, and you click on this line over there, it will now make sure that that line is now equal with that. So once you're done with that, you can press stop sketch and now we have the basis for this planter. So <clears throat> the next thing we have to do is we need to use the sweep command. So if I click on sweep, we need to make sure that the type is path and guide rail. The profile is selected is the polygon. The path is our line, vertical line straight up, and the guide rail is the inside of this object. Alright, now you want to change the operation to new body, and then when you're done, you can press OK. Now, so that's given us our coil, so to speak. Now we want to just make sure that we go into bodies and we just um, we just hide the coil so that you can't see it. Now there are a few things that we can do from here. Number one, we can create a shell, or we can use the shell tool to create the inside, which is all now hollow. Okay. The other thing is we can go back into our 
coil features and we can start to have a look at and change some of these things. For example, if we change the revolutions to um, so 0.2 and we change the taper angle, let's say to about 25, then press OK. Now you can see it's given us a different kind of look. So now we've increased the taper angle so that we can create a wider top. You can also then do things like um, chamfer, which you will have to go around and you'd have to select all the edges. But if you create a chamfer like that, and you know maybe a chamfer of five mils, you can see now how it's given us a small chamfer on the edge. Now, sometimes this won't look as nice because you can see right there that it kind of overlaps and doesn't have a great look. But anyways, anything that you need to edit, you can go back into edit features and you can, you know, change it all up. So if I have a smaller rotation, there we go. Now it's looking a little bit nicer. Anyways, I want you guys to explore and see what you can come up with. The other thing, the final thing that you can do is when you go into modify and you go and look at your physical appearances, there are many different physical appearances that you can change your object to. So for example, you know, if we want to have like a blue laminate kind of finish, it can look like that. Now, it doesn't mean that when you 3D print this, it will be that color. It just means that, you know, this is the look that it's you know, given to the actual planter. Anyways guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.